Howdy, 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 howdy. I just, I wanted to play more contrast. Contrast, contrast, however you want to say it. So, here we are. I was playing some Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Uh, I got the remastered edition or whatever. Um, I thought it was going to be like Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 remastered. It is not. It is difficult. So, last we left off, I believe I had just started Act 2 in this. It's you! Where have you been? Yeah. Did you know the circus is in town? It's Daddy's Circus. He says it's going to be the biggest thing ever! Except he always says stuff like that, and then something goes wrong. And Vincenzo's my real daddy. We have to go talk to him. So we still don't know, like, who the player character is. Some sort of, like, a... Like a mime? Slash, like, knight? You know, escort type person? So, I don't know. It's just a strange game. They're we so already happy. saw this cutscene last time, but I'll go ahead and let it play there again. any pictures of the bad times. These are in the basement. She only takes them out when Daddy's living with us. You know in stories where the little girl is really a princess and her parents aren't really her parents? Does she still get to see them? So I'm wondering if like, because if everyone else is a shit, no, because the little girl is real too, so. What is real, man? Why is this door so comically large? Okay, so look at how tall I am, again, like versus this like little girl, right? So like, if this girl is, I don't know, 10? Maybe? I don't know, how, how, how tall is a fucking 10 year old? You know what I'm saying? Like, I have no fucking clue. I don't actually know things. I'm just trying to make sure that all the game audio and everything is coming through appropriately. I'm just going to have to assume that it is because uh, it was working fine last time and I didn't change any of these settings, but you know how that always goes. So, <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, I don't know, but point is, look at how fucking tall this door is. Look how tall the all these doors are. Look how big this chair is. Why? Like, the chair is almost as tall as a player character. Standing. Yeah, let me just fucking stand on your table. Oh no! It's an eviction notice! Daddy says he's gonna pay all the bills when the circus is a big hit. Come on! Time to go rob a bank! Bye. Okay, so I'm s uh, like, these doors are super tall, but then look at how tall these cabinets and these shelf, the shelving is. Like, maybe I'm just actually short, but then the girl would be super freaking short. Wait. Ba -ba -ba. So that's just the actual eviction notice. Oh. Oh goodness. From cat to child services, please don't take my daughter away. Also, I closed off her escape route. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. I don't think they'll hold you. I forgot how fast. You have to go through shadows. Right. 
to dash through thin shadows. Oh, that's convenient. That uh, could have been nice earlier. I'm sorry, where the fuck am I? Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Ah. Rude. Fuck that. Okay, that one was on me. <laughs> A plus B to jump shadow dash. Oh yeah, that's just the same as before. In the shadows. Yo, is that a fucking pirate ship? Hold up, hold up. I wanna go over there. I mean, we probably will, but... I wanna go there now. Also, I just want to... I just want to try and uh, explore a little bit, see if we can find some of those luminaires. Looks like I have to go into the circus. And there's some shadow play here. Hey, Vincenzo, ready for our big night? People are really excited. You're gonna have to give them their money back. What? We're sold out. You haven't paid me. I got the money. We're selling out. You'll have it before the show. Even if you do, I can't perform here. Your circus is a disaster. It's coming together. Your puppet show about the princess is missing the princess. You've lost your hot air balloon, and where did you get that pirate oh, ship? Boy. It is a broken down piece of junk. Come on, Vincenzo, it's opening day. There's always a few wrinkles to iron out. Look, I'll get it all fixed. No problem. Consider it done. All right. But don't think that I will be some hmm. sort of shiny bauble that lures people into your scrapyard. He's so mean. I'll get it fixed, I promise. Or I'm a dead mm -hmm. uh, no. I'm worried about Daddy. He always says it's okay, but those gangsters really hurt him. We have to fix the circus, so Daddy will be safe. Come on, it's this way. Your dad's kind of an idiot, so... A little bit of like as you dig your grave. You know. What? Achievement unlocked. The circus is a disaster. When I go through the circus tent towards the attractions? Is there another route? Nope! Nope! Hold on, hold on, I want to see if there is. Because, like, when they put it that way, it makes it sound like there is another route. And so I'm trying to see... <gasps> Fuck! Well... Balls. Look, I'm just trying to explore. Yeah, I have no idea where the little girl went. I'm just... Oh. Look, there's the balloon. It got snagged so they can't pull it down. But nobody can get up there to untangle it. I bet somebody... Except for the shadow creature. A carousel! I think I can turn it on. Do you have any luminaries? But I don't think I, I have any in this level, do I? Yeah. All right, one freebie. Okay, so there's... Okay, and there's a couple up there, it looks like, but... I kind of need... Shadow powers to be able to get up there, I think. Unless I can... Nope, nothing there. 
Or if I can get on top of that billboard. But that looks like that's probably also a Shadow Powers type of deal. This is a very interesting game. I gotta say, like, I, I appreciate it. It's, it's simple. It's kind of chill. Which, honestly, I think I, I just really need just something to be able to chill out, you know? Um, but it still kind of makes you think, but it's not too hard. And I'm curious about what we are, like... What do they call them? Strumpets? So can I just turn the lights on right now? Or? I think we just need one or two more. Uh, yeah. um, where? Oh, I should be able to break through that fence. No problem, man. Come on. Lights. It's, it's shadow time. Oh, wild, dude. Yeah. I just waited too long. Where am I now? Oh, so it kind of spawns you centrally every time. It's not bad. Oh, I totally thought I'd be able to shadow shift into that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yo. Yeah! <laughs> nice! That was awesome. I can't I can shadow shift here, but then that looks like that's about it. Oh, hang on, hang on. Can I go down there? Nope. Darn. Well, can I? Nope. Darn. That, that effect looks really cool. Is that her skeleton? I can't tell. But it looks cool. I wonder if she's... Oh. I didn't time it right that time. Yeah! Yeah. Okay, so now I'm up here. I don't think this actually does me any good, though. Oh, yo, 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 can I ride? Can I, can I ride the hammer? Ride the hammer. <laughs> I was wondering if that would kill me or not. <laughs> it just pops you out of the shadow zone. The shadow dimension. I know I have the luminaries required to uh, progress at this point. Oh, fuck you! I'm trying to gather more luminaries right away because I feel like I may as well. What an interesting game concept, also, like requiring it. To <laughs> requiring you to work on sh with shadows? That's really clever, in my opinion. Oh, fuck you! That was a jump. Um, it's just one of those, I like to point that out just because, uh, you know, it's one of the things that you look for in a really nice, high quality game is how do they handle shadows, you know? And so stuff like that, like, it's just, 
It's just a nice touch. Can I even get back? Oop, fuck. Well, <laughs> not like that. Oh well. I got three luminaries, so. Backwards. Ah, oh, bitch tits. Fuck. Like, this is really cool. I think that they did a good job with this game. Hang on. Just gotta time it right. Yeah. Oh wait, hang Oh no 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 fuck. Sorry. <laughs> the kid. <laughs> style Are you okay up there? You need any help? Here, jump on this. Kid, you're the best. I think you're going to need to get that beacon working. This game is so cool, man. I'm really digging this. <laughs> Fucking suddenly vibrate. Yeah. is going to take off immediately. Oh no you don't. Oh you slut. You don't zip through them, they push you right off, huh? Okay, 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 hang on, hang on. So, yep. Okay. Yeah, if you don't zip through them, they push you off because you fall through them kind of a thing, like you fall through the bottom of them. Holy shit, that was clutch. Yeah. Okay, that is the balloon. Wait, what? What do you mean? I just landed on that. Is that not where I'm supposed to go? Oh, there's more shadows. Meat. Yeah, the um the move me mechanics are really uh something else. I've I've never encountered a game that has this kind of a movement mechanic. This is quite clever, in my opinion. I'll get to the balloon. Give me a sec. I definitely gotta explore this little area, though. What did I get? 
don't understand. When the player finds the Cyclops bottle in the carousel area? The what? What did I find? Yay! I have no idea. Yo, let me get that luminary. I wish I could do that. Will you teach me someday? Kind of wanted to like give the kids some like reassurance or something. I wish you could like pat the kid on the head and just be like, There, there, child. Oh, I wanted to dive into the water. But for real, there's a luminary up there. I need to get that shit, man. Also, I'm hoping that each act takes about an hour like the first one did because that would honestly make this perfect. Very nice and uh, palatable sections. Alright, good. So I can just do this. Yeah, wasn't there like a ramp now that I can just walk up? Um, no. Okay. I wonder if they're going to start playing with scale at some point later as well. Like, um, changing your scale. <laughs> Fuck. Sh Shitter. But, uh, how am I gonna get across here without the girl helping me out now? Oh. Oh, because there's no more fucking, uh... Well, how am I supposed to get that fucking luminary now? Is it just locked? Am I not able to get that now? Like, is that just locked away now? You're pretty fucking bogus, dude. Where is the girl? What the fuck is this? Strats. Uh, but that's not the one near the balloon, I don't think. That was just a different one. I believe that was just a different one altogether. Yeah. I wonder if people speedrun this game. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah, see, so there's the one up there. I wonder if there is a way for me to still get up there. Okay, so I've done this now. But I don't think I can get any higher up than this. I think it's just fucking locked now. I think I'm just fucked. Amazing airplane flying pigs? I mean, unless I was able to ride one of those bitches. <sighs> if this is just locked out, that kind of sucks.
need. I need to be able to get up there. I'm wondering if I can get like on top of the balloon somehow. Uh, it's frustrating, man, because it's like, it's that kind of shit. It's like, that's why I explore so much in video games is to avoid missing things. Oh, you can get down under the beach. Look at those fucking high heels. Yeah, she would not be having a good time down here. That is some janky water. I mean, to be fair, it's not the, the it's not the point of the game. It, you know, it's not like. Oh, it must be the, from the, like, music from the ship or something. Right, what's the point of coming down here? World's Fair. Maybe there's something later. Oops. So how does she shift into shadow and whatnot? Like, that does seem like something that should be addressed. already popcorn just sitting out. Hey, has anyone seen the princess puppet? We can't really start the story without her. That sounds like daddy. <clears throat> I know she's around here somewhere. <laughs> Hell yes. Ah, there she is. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a castle with her father, the king. The king loved her very much because daddies love their daughters. Unfortunately, the kingdom also had an ogre who was eating travelers because ogres do that. So the king did what kings do and promised that anyone who slew the ogre would get to marry his only daughter, the princess, and become king when he died. The king's lands were very far away, and the ogre was very large, so only one knight showed up. His name was Fred, and he fell Fred? immediately in love with the princess. Fred was a brave knight, and he marched off the next morning, singing a brave song as loudly as he could. After several days had passed, the princess got to wondering what had happened to her future husband. So she set off into the forest to look for him. The I princess did? tracked Fred's footprints through a strange wilderness full of scary sounds and hidden dangers. Chasms filled with razor-sharp bamboo. Fortunately, she was a very brave princess who loved adventures. Just like you. Look at that fucking she walk. Used her wits to get past unexpected obstacles. Pretty neat. She came to a wide river filled with snapping crocodiles. She couldn't even swim. So what do you think she did? Left. <laughs> she ran on top of their heads. That's right. It was a magical forest where the plants seemed to know each other. She had to use magic mushrooms to get high or up. <laughs> to get high or up. Okay, okay, hang on. So I need to do... 
this one. This one. This one? Oh, wait. Holy shit. Oh! On the wait, that's not what happened. Oh, holy fuck. <laughs> that was brutal as shit, dude. Unfortunately, she impaled herself on Ah! The Wait, that's not what happened. Fuck. Unfortunately, she impaled herself. Oh my god. That's not what happened. Okay, hang on. I got to figure this out. So it's Unfortunately, she impaled herself on the bamboo. Wait, that's not what happened. Oh, fuck. Um. That doesn't seem right. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. Tree branches to fling herself across a patch of deadly sharp bamboo. As the sun was setting, she came to the giant ogre's campsite. And there, the princess discovered that the ogre had captured Fred and hung him from a tree as a snack. The ogre did not appreciate visitors at all. Even Fred seemed a little embarrassed to see her. Okay, well. Understandable. Have a nice day. Oh, brutal. What? Oh, shit. What if I just fucking leave? Oh, you can't leave mid show. <laughs> Okay, so you clearly need to get him to do that. But the princess and then... was a woman of action, and she was nimble, and the ogre was clumsy and easy to talk. Was it time? That's when you make fun of someone. You should never make I think fun I just of killed them, Fred. Ogres, sometimes you have to. And so Wait, the so the princess, princess gets to marry herself. And rescued Fred. Fred didn't feel too good about it. He really loved the princess. Fortunately, the king told him about a giant spider that he could slay in order to win the princess's hand. So Fred marched off to the lair of the giant spider, singing a brave song, a little less loudly than before. After several days had passed, the princess got to wondering what had <laughs> oh, happened to no. her future husband. So she went off looking for him, Again. Uh, this way this time? No. Fred's footprints led her into a dark and creepy cavern, full of strange dripping sounds, kind of like the basement at school. Her footsteps uh. echoed and echoed until it sounded like someone was following her. Soon she came to a vast pit 
filled with vicious, deadly spikes. It was much too big to jump over. But far off, she could hear moaning. She thought it might be Fred. So what do you think she did? I know, I know. What? She used an umbrella. What? Like that nanny in that movie. Unfortunately, she impaled herself. <laughs> Wait, that's not what happened. Soon she came to a vast pit filled with vicious, deadly spikes. This is really cool. It was much too big to jump over. But far off, she could hear moaning. She thought it might be Fred. So what do you think she did? I know, I know. What? She used an umbrella. What? Like that nanny in that movie. This is the Middle Ages, honey. Where would she get an umbrella? I don't know. That's what she used. <laughs> I don't... I... I don't think I have an umbrella. So Mary Poppins. Well, I better find one, because she used an umbrella. Where am I supposed to get an umbrella? Oh, oh uh, there we go. So, the princess bravely threw herself into the air, slowing her fall using an umbrella. Just like that nanny in the movie. She floated down into the cave. <laughs> deeper into the cave. Oh shit! Unfortunately, she impaled herself on the bamboo. Wait, that's not what happened. You can't jump with it, it seems. Deeper and deeper into the cave. Fucking she tea posing. She thought she could hear Fred moaning, but maybe it was only the wind. Fuck! Unfortunately, she impaled Dude, if you just touch anything Wait, with that's fucking not what umbrella, it just. it death. Yeah, you can't jump with the umbrella. Deeper and deeper into the cavern. The T pose umbrella. She thought she could hear Fred moaning, but maybe it was only the wind. Yo! It's a hell of a fucking puppet shadow show, my friend. Uh-oh. Finally, she landed softly. Right in a spider's web! Fortunately, it was a very old web, and she was able to break free. Unfortunately, the web was the only thing holding up a giant- Oh, fuck! The princess needed to find somewhere to hide. That was my hiding spot. It was just one of those as I saw it go by, I was like, that's where I was supposed to hide. Suddenly, a giant spider jumped out of the shadows and attacked her. Uh oh. She ran and climbed and jumped and climbed. But the giant spider was very good at climbing too. It had eight legs and the princess only had two. Mm. Oh, time to run away. Princess remembered how the webs were holding up boulders. I was like, what the fuck do I do? Uh oh. Poor spider. What? Finally, she found Fred. He was all wrapped up like a present for the giant spider's girlfriend. Uh. He was dreadfully embarrassed about having to be rescued again. He really loved the princess. The princess decided he was cute. <laughs> Fortunately, the king told him about a dragon that he could slay in order to win the princess's hand and stop being so embarrassed. 
Oh, so Fred brother. marched off to the mountaintop of the dragon, singing a brave song very quietly. Very quietly. <laughs> oh boy. After a few days, the princess got to wondering why her guy kept trying to give her away. That too. But she was worried about Fred, so she went off to find him. The dragon's mountain was cold, and the wind howled at her to turn back. There were rock slides and fiery chasms. Holy but shit! Oh my gosh! Just like you. She wasn't going to be put off by a few deadly dangers. Up and up she climbed. When she got cold, she thought about the hot buttered muffins she would make once she got Fred home. Do you still like muffins? I love muffins. The princess hoped Fred liked muffins. Ah. Hmm. Fuck. Dude, how is this the hardest part of the game? Like, are you kidding me right now? Uh oh. Oh, come on. What? Oh my gosh, remember how I said I hoped each part took only an hour? Oh, this is going very poorly. Are there going to be more rocks? There sure are! When the princess got to the lair of the dragon, she was not very surprised to see Fred hanging from the roof of the dragon's cave. Fred, you're an idiot. Oops. So she taunted the dragon until it roared its fiery breath at her. And she got fucking toasted. I am. Bye, Fred. Damn. <laughs> Fucking R.I.P. Fred. Finally, burning away the ropes that were tying up Fred. And so the princess and Fred lived happily ever after. Fred never had to go on another adventure again. And they had hot buttered muffins every morning. There is another version of the story where the princess flew off on the dragon's back to have a life full of adventures, but that's for another day. Yay! Yay, Don, you did it! Hey, there she finally named us. So that does confirm what uh, I had surmised in the previous round, which was that my name is Dawn. Still can't get that fucking luminary. It bothers me. It's the last attraction should be this. I spook. Supposed to be haunted? Oh, look at that! This looks amazing! The gangway is stuck up there. How do we get on board? Give you one guess. <laughs> Doink. What did I get? The pirate ship needs maintenance or else it will jam.
You pick up in a fucking dawn, damn. Fucking s whoa. Damn. <laughs> I love it. Got them sick gains. <laughs> Do I need to put that like in the right spot? That's floating. Oh, do I need to put it, like, here? Maybe? But then I can't get onto that. Yo. <laughs> Is there something else over there that I see? What's with the strange semi-ethereal music, though? Oh, check that out. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. I think I get it now. Hang on. So if I put this... How did I get up there in the first place? Oh yeah, there's some jank! I'm just kinda... Yeah! <laughs> oh. Captain on ah. the deck! Avast their first mate! Anchors away! Let's heave ho! And hoist the mainsail! Aww, it's closed! Can you open it? Can you open it? Yeah, fuck you, kid. The box go. It's a gains! <laughs> Look at her arms! Oh my gosh! What the fuck is this animation, dude? Oh, wait. Shadow? No. So that kind of does annoy me a little. Hang on. Why do you keep the doors open? I mean... Is this box maybe just not heavy enough? No, it's locked on there now, so... Well, that might be a problem. Oh, there is a second button up there, though. <sighs> okay, so how do I... There's a little bit of stank to it. Wait. 
Damn, see, it gave me the prompt, so I thought maybe I could pick it up, but it doesn't seem to be the case. I mean, I also see that there is a, um... A door back there? But there was a button in there. Hey, kid, maybe you could fucking help? I wonder if there's another box somewhere. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. But that doesn't really help me... <sighs> Can I shift into shadow while holding something? No. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. It's like... How am I supposed to get up there? This is making my brain hurt. It really is. You see, it keeps wanting me to pick this object up. Ah, dang it, I thought I had it for a second. Okay, 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 hang on, hang on. So... If I put this... Where do I put this? Where do I put this to be useful? I guess I just have to put it here in order to get up here? I'm trying to see if maybe I need to, like, cheese it in there a little bit or something. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That ability. Oh, can I... Oh, right! Duh! Actually moving here. Oh, no, it definitely moved something. What did it move? moved Where did it move What did it move Oh that's a little bit jank And the shadows on the glass. See, I, I um. Hmm. Did it move some of the barriers? Or what did it do? Oh, it's just so that I can, uh... Hop on it, I guess? Yeah, okay, that's all it is. It's just so I can, like, you, you know, ride it up to the top here. <laughs> or I can just completely fucking beef it.
Very cool. Hell yeah, Sikanes! I was gonna say, there's gotta be a luminary up here. Oh, I need to drop this down there, don't I? Can I... No? Oh, I may have beefed it. Oh, I might have... Hang on. I supposed to do this? Why is that piece glass? Oh, you totally can. So you totally can shift while uh, holding objects. I just couldn't do it earlier. Okay. Probably because of the uh, shadow of the steering wheel was in the way. Which is how I'm going to get up to over here. This is really interesting because, like, it's still three dimensional. It's just. Yeah, vibrate. Yeah. Very cool. All right, all right. Second star on the right and straight on till morning. Is that a Peter Pan thing? Uh, I think we're about to die. <laughs> That's what this is. I don't think it's actually supposed to stop there. Okay, so it showed me the light there. I see the luminary up there. Damn it. Alright, now nobody get weird, but the skinny woman needs to ride the tentacle. Glitchy there. Where am I going here? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, yo, I can just ride it for real. Ah, shit. Oh, fuck you. Oh.
between him. Quite the fucking noises. There we go. Isn't the bow supposed to shoot it again? Kid, I don't fucking know. Sure. Here you go. Uh, that doesn't seem right. I'm gonna have to fix that too now. Yep. It seems like a somebody else problem. Damn it. Okay, hang on. I, I really want to get myself trapped in that treasure chest just because it seems like it'd be funny. And now I'm pretty sure it's possible if I jump off the top here. Yes! Do it. Do it. No backpack bird needed. Unlocked when the player jumps into the treasure chest of the pirate ride. I was right. I was like, I got a feeling there's an achievement for this. Absolutely was. Wait, what? Oh, shift in. Nice! On the fucking tightrope. What a G. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah! Fuck! <laughs> That's a really cool mechanic. It's still- like, I know I've said it a ton of times already, but it is a really cool mechanic. Really clever, and I think it's well done. Don't get the fucking sick gains. Yeah, it's just a sign of a really well built uh, thing right there. I figured that I was gonna have to use that to be able to get back across, but at the same time, it didn't really ultimately matter because there's the ramp. So. Ah, uh, good enough. Oh, fuck you! Is it supposed to be sitting, like, right here or something? Or... Do have to be right on the right spot there? Fire the cannon again. I'm trying. It's supposed to- it's trying to grab like right behind Dawn's head. Oh, yo. I think it needs to be in the shadow dimension. Yeah, look at this. Oops. Wrong button. Okay. That looks that looks more like it. Look at the shadow. Yeah.
Whoa! Oh, because it was in the shadow dimension, right. That is... It's actually pretty cool, man. I was like... Oh no! <laughs> Wait! It's a whirlpool! He's sucking us down! We're stinking! We're doomed! It's David Young walking for us! Bye, kid. <laughs> what in the world? I thought it was going to be moving the. Oh, it's to move the light. Right. To move the light. I've only gotten 10 out of 15. That's incredible. Don't tell me I jump in there. Jeepers, almost jumped off. How do I, uh. Normally I press X to, uh. Balls! Oh, speaking of balls. <laughs> um, no? Oh, there's a ramp. My gosh. We got to figure out what this woman is, this Dawn character, because, like... Damn, dude, it's kind of a dick move. Okay. This is... Wild. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I know. I've been playing this game the whole time. Like, you'd think I'd fucking understand. Like, oh, it's a cool concept. But it would kind of lose some of its lose some of its novelty. But it hasn't yet because it still retains that same simple complexity. I guess. Of like, it's simple in its idea, but it's. Complex Did in the execution, it? or something? I don't know. Uh oh, we didn't break anything, did we? <coughs> Maybe we can get out that way. I want to be a smash hit with my daughter and her like ghost. Oh, I bet there's nothing yeah. actually broken. Powered I up bet with it's just spirits. something you forgot to turn on. Daddy bought it. I bet there's just like one thing he forgot to do, and that's why the whole ride isn't working. It's probably in the control room, or the engine room, or something like that. Come on! It's dark 
dark out there. How are you going to climb on shadows if it's dark? Hey, this is that maintenance room I was talking about. Why didn't Daddy do it? I coin? bet he didn't even read the instructions. I think we can restart the whole ride. I Rolling berry and assemblies, blah, blah, blah. Regreased, blah, blah, blah. Gotta lube this son of a bitch up. I knew it. I knew it was something simple. I think all we need to do is pull these levers at the same time. All right. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah, Three, go ahead, kid. Two, one, go. Fucking the prompt wasn't actually there, and so I wasn't doing it. Gonna blow it up. I still only got 10 out of 15 luminaries. And like, it bothers me that I didn't get all of them, and it especially bothers me that one that's up there that I still can't get. Vincenzo, do you ever consider trying out for the trapeze? They're good at what they do, Mr. Fenris. I'll give you that. I got my balloon back, I got a princess for my puppet theater, and my pirate ship is sailing the bounding main. So you're a man of your word. Go ahead. Count it. It's all there. Need a hand with your stuff? My apparatuses are very delicate, and I don't like anyone in my workshop. You provide the audience, Mr. Fenris, and I will provide... Amazement. Mr. Fenris, why are you organizing this circus? I know who your investors are. I promised my wife and daughter I'd clean up my act. But if I don't pull in the crowds for you, those boys are gonna put you in the river. Without Cad and Dee, I wouldn't care much if they did. Ah. Oh. So those crowds better come. I didn't talk to him! I didn't talk to Vincenzo! Oh, I was like, what is this? It's just a load screen. <laughs> kind of a weird time for one. Ah. Uh -huh. hey. hey, listen. But that, I see, is the start of Act 3. Ergo, I am going to call it there because... <sighs> I'm tired. We are close to, what, an hour and a quarter right now? Um, I, uh, I thought it was going to be more like an hour, but it was still pretty good. Um, it wasn't too long. So, I'm, I'm happy with it. It seems like it's pretty much an hour per chapter, roughly. Uh, as long as I'm not too bad. <laughs> but yeah. It's pretty good. Um, I'm just enjoying this game because it's nice and chill. So I'm just going to go and wrap it up there, though. So for all of you guys that joined me, as always, thank you for watching. Sorry for your suffering. Take care, and I'll see you guys next time.